Ladies and gentlemen, on the grid, get ready for the Elkhart Lake Road America 300. We're all excited. You know, we had a good morning warm-up session. I think dialed the cars just a little bit more. I feel like we're probably as competitive as we've been this year. Uh, I feel like we're very close. We just have to go execute all the way across the board. You know, drivers, try to get through traffic well, be smart. Uh, good pit stops, good strategy, and I think we're going to have a really good chance towards the end of the race. So we're all pretty excited. It's going to be a, warming up a little bit, uh, but, the, but it's dry, so that's all good. So it's going to be three hours of, of non-stop action. Yeah, you know, I think there's a pretty good buzz going around the team. I think, uh, you know, we definitely think the 01 car's got a lot of speed. Uh, and I think that uh, Guy and I feel very good. So, yeah, we're just hoping, you know, to, you know, same thing every race. You know, we want to be clean, be on the lead lap, and then see what happens at the end of the race, see where we can put these things. It's always nice to get into a rhythm, you know, and it's this is a definitely a rhythm sport, you know, and so it, when you don't have that rhythm going, so you know, it's usually your first few laps, it just you're trying to reacquaint yourself with what's going on out there, and then you settle in, and then you just start doing your job. The uh, warm up was good. We uh, yet again only got a lap, but we were uh, like fourth quick and uh, very close off the uh, leader, so yeah, we'll see. I think, uh, I think we have a good car and just got to stay out of trouble and we'll be in good shape. Great crowd, the weather's nice and everybody seems to be in a good mood. It's a nice Sunday, so yeah, hopefully uh, we put on a good show for everyone. Patron fans, Guy Cosmo, reporting for Extreme Speed Motorsports just after the race at Road America, Elkhart Lake, Wisconsin, and uh, probably one of the battles of my life. Ed Brown and I just took fifth place in one of the most competitive GT categories in the world. We kind of called it that this was going to be one of our best tracks for a good result. Ed did an amazing job as a driver this weekend, let alone what he does as the president and CEO of Patron Tequila, and among other things this guy does. He's an animal. But uh, Ed was great. He turned his best lap times of the weekend. He did a really good job during his stint. We had great pit stops. The ESM crew was flawless. And I was able to charge my way up to fifth place with uh, probably one of the most intense and hard fought battles on the last lap that I've ever had, or at least in a very long time, with uh, our compatriots over at Risi Competizione with uh, Jimmy Bruni. Well, on that last lap, uh, two laps to go, uh, Jimmy Bruni and I, <laughs> we had this amazing battle. I was really catching up to him for about the last 25, 30 minutes of the race. Got right up on him, he got held up in traffic a little bit, and I mean, I was glued to his bumper for a good two, two laps straight, trying to put a move on him every single corner that I could. He was running a little bit defensive, but he was still being a gentleman about it. Very hard fought battle, and um, we were kind of zigzagging back and forth and heading down towards turn five. I got a great run on him, went down on the inside. Passed him, went into the brake zone. He managed to outbreak me. He stuffed it way underneath me. And then for the next uh, three quarters of a lap, we were nose to tail again. I finally pulled it off going around, uh, tried going around the outside of him. In Canada corner in turn nine, heading up the hill, went through turn 13. And I was, uh, again, he was defensive. I drove around the outside of him, cut across, going into the final corner, coming onto the front straight. And we ran away. Very excited. Ed really deserves it. Patron really deserves it. Uh, our team guys were running towards the front all day long, and unfortunately, they got snagged out and finished a little bit behind us. But we're leaving here very positive. We learned a lot of really good information, and we're looking forward to going to Mosport next week. Follow us.